Listening to rock music is just the first step to Satanism. Welcome to Friday Fallacy. Uh, this week we're looking at the slippery slope fallacy. The slippery slope fallacy is arguing that taking one action will cause a chain of events leading to an undesirable outcome. That is, rather than seeing each step as an independent decision, it is asserted that taking the first step will necessarily lead to taking the others. This is not a sound way of arguing, as accepting one idea does not necessarily mean accepting other, even related ideas. That loosening of regulations on business could be construed as the beginning of a long line of changes leading to a completely libertarian economy in no way means that such a hypothetical chain of events will actually occur. Similarly, that a small increase in income tax can be envisaged as the first step on a path to socialism does not make such a path inevitable or even likely. Some examples of the slippery slope fallacy. Teaching evolution will lead to the downfall of this country. Accommodating aspects of Sharia law is tantamount to Islamification. State-sanctioned prayer in Parliament is the thin end of the wedge. Raising the minimum wage will just lead to unsustainable rises in government spending. Not all slippery slopes are fallacies. Sometimes there are legitimate reasons why one step will lead to another. One example is with legal precedents. If an abused spouse is allowed to plead self-defence after killing their partner, this will allow others in the same situation to make the same claim. This is a legitimate argument in the sense that allowing one person to use such a defence will allow other people to do so in the same situation. The fallacy would be to suggest that this would necessarily extend to people in different situations. The other area where a slippery slope argument is legitimate is when dealing with events or actions that are truly causally or logically linked. There is a clear causal link between positive portrayals of gay relationships in the media and public support for same-sex marriage. In this case, it is not a fallacy to argue that one may lead to the other, even though such a link is not inevitable. Often, the difference between a slippery slope argument that is legitimate and one that's a fallacy is the amount of evidence given to establish the link between each step. The more evidence, the less likely that it's a fallacy. That is, it's not a slippery slope fallacy if you justify why each step will lead to the next. It is a fallacy when these steps are just assumed. In conclusion, the slippery slope fallacy is when it is argued that taking one action will cause a chain of events leading to an undesirable outcome. Until next time, keep your fallacies to yourself.